Let's have a look. Looks good. Yeah, we're in the yellow. Mike is good. Oh god, you can see the fucking bow in the... That's a cursed ass bow right there. There's my cat, checking to see what the fuck is going on. Let's get Vicky started. Uh, where is it? Heather Aronka. Yeah, it's Friday. You gotta dress up for Friday, man. Oh shit. Let me uh let me change chat box so it's above the fucking cursed ass gifts. There we go. Got my new intro set up. The music from Windows 96. Great artist. I'll start Vicky in a moment. And yes, you are high. Remember to check your uh, carbon monoxide detector in your house if you have one. You might actually be hallucinating. This is not real. This is not a real stream. You're dying. Probably gonna be a little shorter stream than usual about two hours it's been a really busy week for me like it's graduation week and we know a lot of people who are graduating so it's been fucking hectic man I haven't streamed in what like five days this is my first proper day off and I still need to go early. Man, what the fuck is going on with Vicky? Take ages to load. like that
Oh man. I am doing just fine. Thank you. I hope everyone's doing fine. It's fucking Friday. Finally. Uh, let's have a look. Where is my team? Regular game. Now I think the cam should not be obstructing the game. All right. I did a trial run of Carlos Spain, and the civil war in the start of VU is a bit harder than I expected. Hang on, let me uh, let me do well. Edit com mod Victoria Universalis. Please work. You got all your fucking wisdom teeth out, and you're on a stream. My stream out of all streams. You're in for a wild ride. Oh man, it's so fucking warm. Wearing a tie was a mistake. I am an old guy with white hair. All right, so we're going to go for muzzle loading. Um if I lose, I'll just restart and try again. This is going to be my single player Vicky save because Carla Spain is actually. It's more like um, HFM in this mod where you can recolonize South. Am uh, not South Africa, South America. Lick Willie, resubscribe two months. I should be studying for the bar, but 19th century economics is way more interesting. You should have read economics. No, not that. Uh, uh, I mean, probably more of an uprising. There, Dennis. I'm doing just fine. How about you? Um, let's get these guys over here. All right, this is going to be our opening move. I'm going to play on two speed, just so we can micro. Three speed. Fuck it. Now the key is to not let them mobilize properly. You want to snipe the small stacks. At least that was it in my trial run. Shit, we got a bad roll. That was bad, that was bad, that was bad. Is everyone excited for Bo getting slaughtered tonight? He's doing the thing, right? I'm not retarded. They're Grisha. Man, this... That was a bad opening move. That was real bad, actually. No, I'm going to, um... Another graduation party, so I won't be streaming tonight. Okay, as I said, it's fucking hectic. I really wanted to stream this week, but people need to just get off my dick. 
that's a joke. Uh, Bo's been doing his sponsored paradox thing. I think it was a two day, right? Was it a two day event? They didn't finish last night, did they? I wasn't watching, I wasn't home. Yeah, it's typical fucking Dankus, honestly. I don't know why Bo thought he could compete. Bear Trauma, you should actually buy that game now. Bear Trauma is great, in, even in single player. I would highly recommend Bear Trauma. It's even scarier in single player, actually. When's the cooking stream? I'm not good at food. I've said it before, I'll leave that to the women, am I right guys? Ha! No, but seriously, uh, I'm a horrible cook. That was a bad move, but I need to snipe them before they mobilize more. This is gonna cost me a lot of casualties. You look and sound like you are from American Psycho. How do I sound like I'm a psychopath? Probably not a good thing. Um, yeah, I guess I could use my pop focus on soldiers, you're right. It doesn't really matter if I don't use my pop focuses, because if I lose this revolution, then Game's over anyway. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to this stream. Taking South America is actually a little bit harder than you'd expect. But it's the long term goal, yeah. Um. Alright, these are not mobilized units, so let them move in here. And there. Reorg for a little bit. And move in. Okay, they're retreating to Barcelona. Pog. Pog. We got him. Surely. Yeah, the, the Carlos start with a pretty beast general that you really need to use properly. Where is it? Yeah, here he is. Ramon! I'm not sure if I could... Um, Realistically, rush Mexico though. I'll make a transport fleet and then just hope for the best. 
really want this fucking... Uh, let's speed this up so they continue sieging. No, I haven't picked my first national idea yet. I know the Civil War is a bit harder than usual, but it's not hard to the point where I need a national idea. Go, good, good, good. Is it possible to play Austria without turning into Austria Hungary? Yes. Hey, this is Ryan with a message. Thank you. Um in order to play as Austria proper, I think you need to win uh don't you need to like win against Germany and become the hegemon of Germany? But yeah, you don't need to form Austria Hungary at all. This mod is Victoria Universalis. Latest version, very important. Don't ever play point five three and five four because India and China are broken. Uh, merchant, uh, you're gonna hate me for saying this, but the first time I ate like Mexican food. I was 21 years old. I <laughs> I have no relation whatsoever with Mexican food. Uh, the Austro-Prussian War is not an event. It's um, it's a separate like Casus Belli these two nations get Russia and Austria. The only way to prevent uh like the Casus Belli from uh being able to fire, I guess, would be if Prussia is a secondary power. I think. Uh, Noskov, uh, I ran into some issues with removing CSA, whoop de fucking do but I'm hoping to solve it tomorrow. I just wanted to squeeze in a two hour stream before I need to head off to the party. Hey, this is Ryan with a message, thank you. And for those of you who don't know, um, Noskov is uh, part of my, or our Arma 3 unit that we run. Which I haven't been streaming much. You should stream some Kaiser Redux or Red Flood. Red Flood is alright, but the thing. I don't like about those mods is that the vanilla combat is mm, leaves a lot to be uh, wanted. Oh shit, Dennis D. Thanks, man. Hope you enjoy. You know, as updated combat. Hmm. Uh, isn't TNO kind of yikes to stream, though? Hey, this is Ryan with a message. Very Thank you. Just a one. 
Oh, you mean Invicti magic? Alright, so I'm assuming as long as you don't um, idolize the the whole like Nazi part of the mod, it should be fine to stream, right? It's like one of the biggest mods, so yeah, I guess I'm stupid for thinking it's not okay. Uh, that reminds me. Uh... I was talking to the boys before, um, it was last night, I think, no, the night before that. Uh, I had an idea for a game show, kind of, that I'll probably end up doing. It's gonna be a Hoi4 game show, and the reward might be um, either like a game or something, or you get to play in the Bobby G games. But we'll see. It's still really early in the in the planning phase. I need some ideas regarding like how you could fuck with people in Hoi Four. It's good. It's it has potential. Like, do do any of you guys know about Daniel from SL? Like on YouTube and Twitch. Most people should, right? Like his videos are fucking fantastic. Yeah. So, uh, a few weeks ago, I was on, uh. Daniel from SL's game show and I had this like fucking idea about how you could do this, hey, this in Hoi right. just very different but the general idea is the same uh, do our national idea There we go. Alright, let me quickly do this. We want... What do we want? Education efficiency, probably. Or expansion? Yeah. Expansion. We can do education later. But yeah, uh, back to the idea. You guys can pitch in, but uh, <laughs> trust me, I know. <laughs> uh, I would play as just an island nation somewhere. This would be a separate mod, our own sub mod for a World War Bra. So the combat is the same as we play with. Uh. And then I play an island nation somewhere on the map. I have full intel on the entire world. I have tons of equipment. And I have decisions that can affect gameplay. So, like, I can fuck with people using spies. I can send equipment around. Uh, just generally intervene in the game. And then random people who want to join the game, right? they're allowed in for yeah yeah exactly merchant but pro Bo probably wouldn't be in the game this is like mostly for randoms that's why it's a game show uh but yeah uh people get interviewed just shortly and then they get uh, rolled onto a nation on the map 
yeah, so I would be the puppet master and people from chat donate bits or subs and shit and they get to affect the gameplay. Yeah, every game is going to have uh like a goal. I don't tell people what the goal is. But for example, like one of the goals can be you need to invade Mongolia and try to form Hyperborea or something. It would just be a massive troll. And then the people who are uh, the most fun, chill, and like all right to hang around with, they usually win and they get to play in our games. Because, like, honestly, we've been having a bit of issues, like, trying to get people to play majors. And it's really hard for people to get in to the games. So we just thought, like, why not just um, interact more with our audience, like have them play in some games and then we can put them in the proper games. Yeah, exactly, uh, Mappen. Like, so, it's a way to weed out, like, the tryhards who get angry when they lose. Because we really don't like them. For example, I don't I can't remember which game it was recently where like we got a random guy in on Canada he built a fuck ton of tanks and the moment they die he just fucking rage quit like who wants that it's better to just um play with people beforehand see if they're cool and then get them in the games I saw that. Uh, Brzezinski. Fuck a Grisha, man. By their magic. Sleep well. Yeah, I don't know what you guys like, but in our Hoi games, I like to have fun. I like to LARP. I like people who make or crack jokes and just they're in it for the good times, not to win. Am I losing this battle? No way, man. Yeah, that's right. No. Oh. Hey, this is Ryan with a message. Thank you. Uh-oh. Oh no, there's no H button. Didn't see they had a frigate. Or, I didn't notice, rather. These are fucking zero strength anyway. I can't afford to have a navy. I'm gonna go bankrupt. <laughs> no, that the the whole Grisha's mom shit. That was a joke. It's gone too far. <laughs> I'm still banned from Grisha's chat, even though, like, there's no drama between us.
Yeah, we. Uh, I think we. Uh, we're 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 cool. Yeah, that was not me though. That was not me. Hey, this is Ryan with a message. Thank you. Yeah, I can go to St. Petersburg visa-free. I want to go there someday. St. Petersburg honestly looks like a pretty nice city. As long as you don't look at the plumbing. Uh, who was that guy, man? Uh, I used to play Company of Heroes with a guy who lived in Finland. A German who lived in Finland who was learning Swedish or something like that. Uh, he was uh, studying in St. Petersburg. Uh, he told me that during... Was it during the winter? Uh, the plumbing in the university was so bad that they had to open or remove the windows of the toilets. So when you wanted to take a shit or go take a piss, then it would be freezing cold in there. I, I, I'm not sure that's real. It might just be a story, but that's my impression of St. Petersburg. Very bad plumbing. I might remob. Yeah, I'm gonna remobilize. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If it wasn't such a fucking hurdle to IRL stream, I would probably do one. Like, if you want to go anywhere, you need one of those fucking streamer backpacks. I haven't worn a backpack in years, man. It's all about briefcases. You guys want to see my briefcase? <laughs> yeah, I own two cars. They're in the description thing. Thingy. Majig. Um... Hang on, one second here. Uh, I would, I mean, if I would do a stock stream, it would like, I would just leverage the shit out of a small amount of money and see if, like, what happens. It'd be fucking hilarious. Uh, regarding my uh, accent? I don't know, it's taken a while, but if you just work at um, consuming international media, you'll figure it out eventually. I still have an accent in some cases. I only recently, like uh, last year, learned that um what word was it hyperbole is pronounced like that previously i've been saying hyperbole <laughs> i've been looking like an idiot for years
Oh shit, I'll go get my briefcase. One second. This, this is a genuine 1980s Vagabond. Very nice. Vintage. Smells not good, but I think I've had it in the rain. See if I can get this up. Is there anything in here? I haven't, like, it's been so long since I went to uni. What is this? A receipt. Oh. Oh. Got the, the nice, like, greenish felt interior. Very secure, very secure. A little latch, you know. I give it a straight, probably, 8 out of 10. Could be a bit bigger. It wasn't exactly designed for a laptop, you know, since it's from the 80s. But it's decent. I survive in real life just from social dominance. Like, what you want to do in any social setting is First, you want to identify the nearest escape route in case it backfires. Number two, don't shower, ever. If you shower, people think you smell fine, they don't fear you. If you don't shower, you will dominate the social setting. They should be able to smell you from across the house. Exactly. Um, number three, number three, you always want to make inappropriate jokes. Identify their weakness, poke at it, you know, that's what you want to do, but you also want to give in a little bit. Uh, number four, uh, touch them inappropriately, always. Like, the first chance you get, the moment, like, you go to shake their hand, you start stroking their shoulder. Like, you... Do you guys remember when, uh, what Trump did to fucking Macron when he pulled him towards him? Yeah, you want to do that? Go for the handshake. Koi for. Thanks, Greg. Go for the handshake, right? Then when you interlock, pull them towards you, start squeezing, and then stroking like this. It's also preferable if you stick your finger in his armpit and then smell it. You'll, after that, compliment him on his man musk.
the success rate uh, of this is extremely low, but the reward is very high, which is why I told you to always identify the nearest escape route when you enter a social setting. That is the most important part. What is that, ISP? <laughs> let, me, let me download this. Uh, here. ISP sent this, and I'm going to put it here. Yeah, I'm going for the for the whole Larry King style, you know. No problem there, Frankie. I should become a psychiatrist. I'm gonna lose this battle, aren't I? I'm way too low a ward. I should have won this already. Why am I taking so long? Hmm. Six thousand money. Unite the nation. I've completely forgot that there is a fucking decision for winning the war. I just need to hold Valencia. I am... I'm a bit stupid, I'm gonna be honest. Carlos victory. Alright. Uh... Big tech, yeah. Hmm. We're gonna be fighting a lot, so I'm gonna go for mill. Making friends is, uh... The moment you start trying, that's when you're failing. Like, how do I explain this? No one is going to want to be your friend unless you're willing to touch a dude's dick as a joke. Consensually, of course. As a joke. Uh, we should probably make puppet. Make a puppet. Repay the loans. Epic. Make navy. No, if you say no homo, it instantly becomes not, like, cool anymore. The whole interaction builds on 
the social bond you two have that you know that this is just a joke, right? You you can't break the the wall. Yeah, if you're really comfortable with your bro, then you can also kiss him on the lips. As long as you don't mention the the don't talk about it. Wimmy, what are your thoughts on women? I think about women all the time. I, I literally cannot stop. It's actually a detriment to my sanity. Oh, I don't have enough money. They're really fucking expensive. Let's reopen all the factories. See what happens. Uh, thoughts on... <laughs> what are your thoughts on Israel? Um, I think about Israel all the time. I literally cannot stop thinking about Israel. It's, it's a detriment to my sanity. Thank you, ISP. Where is it? Oh, he's got the smile now. Next month you'll get the gold teeth. Uh, yeah, we could make a film in the movies about that. That's actually a good idea. I'm gonna write that down. Thank you. Where is my note? My stream note. The movies. There. Next idea for the movies is we're gonna make a tutorial film on how to be social. Ah. <laughs> LARPing as a clerk pop, yeah. Not many people know this, but clerk pops in Victoria are overpowered. Uh how long until the... Holy shit, I need an army fast. Merchant, the only reason why I wouldn't be allowed a women's shelter is because the women simply cannot resist me. Like, if I go close, I'm gonna turn that fucking shelter into a delivery center for babies. Is that what you, what do you call the area where babies are born? Maternity ward. If I knew that word, like... Ah oh man, I missed that joke. Delivery center for babies. <laughs> what are the fucking storks coming in?
I could have gone with abortion center, but I felt it's a bit too dark. There we go. Let's go puppet Mexico. I just want this war to trigger and then we can just chill out. Because they shouldn't be going to war when they're at peace, right? Hmm, any cheap? No. Let them land on Cuba, actually. Then just snipe them. Hmm. Yeah, you were actually right there, uh... WC... How the fuck do you pronounce that? I might be sterile. You never know. Remember to check out your sperm count, because I sure as hell haven't. And I've been kicked in the nuts a lot. What is this? What is this fucking coffee pasta? My name is Swimmy, I'm 23 years old. My house is in the northeast section of Alabama, where all the foreskin replacement centers are. And I am in gamer celibate. I work as a gamer on Bose Hoy, and I get home every day by 4 a.m. at the latest. I smoke curtains, but I don't drink. What? I'm in bed by 1 p.m. and make sure I get 12 hours of gaming, no matter what. Having a glass of warm cum and doing nothing about 300 minutes of hoy single player practice before going to bed. I usually have no problem sleeping. I mean, the, the pasta isn't wrong. Here's their fattest modus. Good luck to you. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? Yeah. It's not wrong. I'll tell you that. Here we go again. I love having to go back into my VOD and deleting clips, you know, from... Man, you guys just take everything out of context, don't you? Crazy. That's loud. Wait, what sentence are you talking about, Dracula? Uh, like, I probably have fucking ADD or something, because when I'm streaming, it's like, my mind is going haywire. Hey, 
this is Ryan with a message. Thank you. Now, my name is Simon, and the reason why my name is Simon is because I was born on that name day. I know, it's great. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, I was just born. They looked at the calendar. That's good enough. Yeah, I am Bo's brother. Oh shit, they landed in fucking Galicia. Mexico is going ham. I just lost an army. What's going on? They're not allowed to have armies. Wait, why is America in the war? Oh shit. Oh god, oh fuck, oh shit, oh god, oh fuck. Oh shit, oh god, oh fuck, oh shit, oh god, oh fuck. <laughs> Uh, can I win that? I have 43 brigades and 60 ships. Go to Santander. Ah, oh, fuck, they're coming in, they're coming in. Oh. And they are getting rooked. Mexicans aren't helping. Kind of pog, actually. Boak shot him uh, birding. You want to go birding? I actually thought you'd, birding was dogging there for a second. What's birding? Yeah, we're not winning this. I should have built up more, but I wanted to rush it. Hey, this is Ryan with a message. Thank you. Bird up. Oh man, this fucking tie is choking me. No. See, unlike Flurry. I don't mind losing. I think everyone should lose. At least sometimes. Losing is very humbling. You have to accept your losses. Save scumming is a very bad habit. It puts you in a constant winning mindset. Which is not healthy for you. The only winning mindset you could ever have is finding losing funny. Then you will never lose. Ever. <laughs> yeah, Peef. Because I am winning in here.
Exactly. It is a coping mechanism. What the fuck is that noise? I think my dad's like walking around spraying the house. Did he like shit himself or something? Or maybe it's just my smell. Yeah, if you guys didn't, um, I probably shouldn't say this, but, uh, last Hoi game, I made it, I wasn't streaming. I didn't want to, uh, everyone on the fucking team was streaming, and I wasn't too hyped up about the game, but I made it a lot more fun, uh, when I played Romania, because... I was trolling the entire fucking game. You guys know, um, uh, who watched that game? You guys remember when I played uh, Romania, Videl was, uh, yeah, it, I made it a bit more obvious than I should have, but they still never got me for that. <laughs> Yeah, uh, did Golden ever look at the save? I don't think he did, right? He was so like pissed off that he wanted to just end the stream right away. I think he was pissed off at least. <laughs> yeah, uh, regarding the whole trade with Hungary, I was buying uh, um, steel from Hungary to build a fucking Yamato. The entire, like, from 1939, it wasn't gonna be out until, like, 1946, but I was still building it. I didn't research any doctrine, so my troops were, uh, my troops were absolutely useless on the Eastern Front. However, uh, I covered it up by like constantly shifting my line northwards. The so Germany had to like thin his entire line. What else happened? Oh yeah, I got Dankus's tanks encircled, and he got fucking livid and blamed Vido. And I was just, oh man, that was so fucking hilarious. Like we were crying in chat. Or the channel above. Yeah, I tried everything in my power to make the Axis lose in that game. And I don't know how the fuck they pulled it off. There was basically n no playing nation in the Balkans. That, that that was a good game though. I had a lot of fun. It's a shame uh, Vido actually like rage quit though. I felt a little bit bad about that. Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I also went. Um, I don't know what you're talking about, <laughs> Uh Oh yeah, another thing. I didn't research any uh, fuel tech until the final months of the game so they wouldn't notice. Uh, however, there was never a lack of fuel. I I had 3 million fuel because I, 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 um, I only built fuel depots in all of Romania. Never any uh, mills or shit after the war started. However, when people asked for fuel, I acted like I didn't have any left. 
<laughs> and only gave him a few hundred thousand. So all it would have taken is one person to load up the save and look at fucking Romania. It was fucking hilarious, man. I don't know how, like, Bo must have done terribly. It was Bo, Russia, right? I think it was, yeah. Yeah, it was Bo, Russia. The only good thing I did in that game is I gave Germany an ahead of time bonus on a fighter. After that, I went fucking. Air Romania. Who goes Air Romania? Oh shit. I'm gonna pump up my relations with Brazil here. Yeah, this, like something was up with that game. Someone was uh, holding the allies down, and I think it was Thomas. All these games recently where Thomas has been playing allies, the allies have pretty much always lost. And I'm starting to think it's not a coincidence anymore. No, no, I, th I think, don't think that's true, Thomas. Do you have the save still? If so, you should, uh, you should go into the No Hoy Discord channel and stream the save and argue for your case. Oh, uh, here we go. Thomas. You seem upset, Thomas. What's up? Mm, no, again, I don't think that's true, Thomas. This is, uh, this is me as Grandpa. I'm gonna get rid of that now, it's fucking blocking the screen. There we go. Spanish, I'll reef. No, I don't want that. Do I want Morocco? I really don't, do I? <laughs> is it just me, chat, or is Thomas upset? Like, if you just take a, a look at the chat above the the current time, I don't know, like, I just feel like he's upset. He's the only one ranting right now. Yeah, he is typing a lot. Yeah, Thomas, when he's angry, you don't want to fuck with that.
Did I ever tell you guys that the reason why Thomas's cat broke its leg is because Thomas kicked it? It's not true. Yeah, and then he used Bo's um, emotional uh, state. Bo was in a really bad place, and he coerced him into doing a a charity like collection for the cat. I think ISP has an exposure video on it, how he bought a scooter instead. And yes, Bo still regularly gets beaten by his girlfriend. It's it's a sad state of affairs. Yeah, we, you're actually onto something there, because uh, whenever Bo streams uh, and he doesn't have his face cam on, it's usually because he's got bruises. So, if you ever see like his face look a bit unnatural yeah the it's makeup it's really sad actually yeah that thomas and the fact that he's not allowed to go outside anymore Let's give artillery to the Basque people, see how that ends. <laughs> Ow, I'm back! Ah, oh, I'm getting too old for this shit. That is the one thing I don't like about wearing suspenders, is the back part. You really need to wear a suit jacket over, or like if you lean up against something, you get the this part dig into your, or uh, this part digs into your back. Still worth it for the style points though. I remember Bo's girlfriend walking in when the camera was off and Bo saying good thing for her that the camera is not on. This is because Bo has a black eye and his girlfriend has blood on her hands. Yeah, you guys think I look like I'm from fucking American Psycho? The whole Bo Cohen apartment universe? Mm. I would not want to be in that situation. Girls with suspenders. Wait. Girls with suspenders? I've never seen that. Now, I prefer my women 
uh, when they have belts because I need something to choke myself with like during and it's really handy because it's going to come off anyway inevitably Yeah, I'm like, uh, I'm like Cheryl from Archer. I literally cannot get off unless I choke myself out to the brink of death. <laughs> You'd think that, Pampo, but the body has this like weird reflex. I don't know where it came from, but it wants to breathe like what the fuck <laughs> no uh we we share or shared rather the same kink Cho King and I that's why his name is Cho King and that's actually how he died he died from auto asphyxiation uh, very sad state of affairs Yeah, it was a wake-up call. <laughs> yeah, choking. Let's in the Boko and Lore. He already got uh, Golden to stop. Because if you guys, uh, if you guys been watching Golden Stream, uh, he used to have a belt hanging in his closet, like on the little bar, which is now gone. So, uh, yeah, he's into it too. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so let's see. What can we do here? Why is Brazil invading Peru? The fuck? Yeah, Bobby G. Uh, our cover story is that we met in a game called um, Darkest Hour, but pretty much all of us stem from an asphyxiation fetish form from like 2008. Obviously not the younger members. <laughs> Didn't think about the year there. All right, so let's change it to 2013. Uh, if I ever were to stream it with Paradox, I would tone it down a, a bit. The only reason why we're... Uh, we're going all in on the Bocon universe is because it's Friday. I'm tired. I'm a little tipsy. I'm gonna go to a party. This is 18 plus. Very clearly marked. And none of this should be taken as truth or fact. I'm just fucking around. No, I, I've had one beer before. I'm not drunk at all. Uh, 
everything I'm saying is lies and slander, pretty much. That also applies for sudden medical emergencies, fires. Like, if you guys see a fire or smoke anywhere in the background, most likely visual effects don't warn me about it. Like, it's all just a joke. Yeah, I was not trolling in Hoi 4 at all. That's That part was also a lie. I was trying my best, I'm just not very good at the game. Alright, so... To form the LARP nations. Uh, Gran Colombia. Is this part of Gran Colombia? No. So all I need is Venezuela. Then I can form it. This shit's too easy, man. Ecuador stuff? Uh, yeah, I'm getting Ecuador. But I've got both of these, so only the UK is stopping me from getting Venezuela in my sphere. Uh, I might go into Argentina before they fucking collapse. Make them a puppet. Hey, this is Brian with a message. Thank you. I need experimental railroads. We need to make money. We're losing a lot. I don't know if I need to pop them or not, because... No, they need to be at peace. Uh, either I need to own it, or they need to be a puppet, or in my sphere. Like, that's what I'm saying, like... It's pretty easy to, to do this. Easier than I thought. I don't remember being in a sphere with me from HFM, but that just might be the events being edited from Victoria or for U Victoria Universalis. They sunk my transport fleet, didn't they? When does Bo's thing start? Is it? Oh, it's already started, right? Well, that fits well with me, because I need to go in about 15 minutes or so. So let's um, squeeze Argentina out of this session, so we have at least some, some area to go to. Yeah, like, I want to stream more, but... As I said, like, a, with graduation week, it's been pretty hectic. This is the final 
graduation ga uh, gathering I'm going to though. One second. Yeah, that was my uh, father. Telling me to get ready. Jokes on him. I was ready fucking hours ago. Fifty minutes of ASMR. Hmm. Now, I think that would be kind of weird. Victoria 2 is not exactly an ASMR game. Oh. One of those fucking ships gonna be out pretty soon. Um, come on, man. Hurry up. Wait, what? The fucking Argentinian fleet was here. Epic. <sighs> I'm just tired of winning. Get our second national idea. Go for education. Always love me a bit of education. No, I haven't spoken to to Bo in a few days. Properly. But I'm guessing there's not going to be hoy this weekend. I'd be down for some hoy maybe on Monday. I'll ask him about it. Uh, education efficiency. There's something that I want to do on Germany. That I think you guys would like. So I'm gonna stream that Hoy game. There we go. Nah, it's not gonna be U boats. But let's just say that we noticed a lot of people in chat getting angry about us when we played Gates of Hell. That we chose Panzer 38T over the Panzer 3. And honestly, I just think it's the superior tank. Which I will prove to you in a game of Hearts of Iron.
Man, fucking sailing takes ages. Finally. The point I'm trying to make is we're gonna go fucking light tank Germany. Only light tanks. Nothing else. It's gonna be fucking pog. Very good. It's Ramon. And they have more. Oh, we won anyway. I'm going to keep these guys here just in case. We should be able to win with only this. A lot of people are sleeping on the scout planes, like how good they are. That sounded like a fucking golden thing to say. Sleeping on. God, I hate myself. Am I turning into golden? I'm not doing a fucking a hego. Or however you pronounce it. That is not a thing that I'm going to do and be comfortable with my uh, myself. League stream, yeah, definitely turning into golden. I've actually been playing a bit of league recently with my uh, Swedish friends. I used to be a support main, yeah, I know. Uh, but now, I play a lot of Shaco. Shaco. However you want to pronounce it. I'm just not very good at the game. I can hold my own, but I'm not like Golden. And Golden stole shit at the game. Yeah, I said that. Yeah, the clown dude. That's uh, that's what attracted me to him in the first place, you know. There we go. Typing civil war. Uh, overall, like, I hate to say it, but I actually enjoy playing League now. I stopped playing it because I got tired of it, and the fucking community in that game was... ugh. But... Seems like most of the... the annoying people have gone on to other games. But if you used to play it, and you want to try it, I'd give it a shot. The new champs are fucking... A bitch to learn though. Not saying like for play, but what they do. Path of Titans or the Isle? What are those games? Them Steam? Path of Titans. No. Oh, the owl, the the fucking dinosaur game. Well, which one's Path of Titans?
Yeah, like, um, I think the, wasn't, um, who was it? Was it Womble who did a video essay on the aisle? I can't remember who it was. Yeah, th that video was great. I, I had no idea about the aisle, but I would probably play that, honestly. Looks kind of fun. I don't want to have to play on a roleplay server though to have fun. Oh. Hello? What the fuck? No way, man. If they call in the UK, I'm toast. I have no money either. Fuck. Well, they picked the right moment, I'll tell you that. Guess I'll go into even more fucking debt for this. Alright, mobilize. Change our rally point to Madrid. Uh, could I trigger a battle here? Yeah, let's trigger this. See what happens. Not a good general though, but we should be fine. Because we have numerical superiority. Need to deal with a fucking... This as well. No. My men. Let's go back and... They called in the UK. They called in the fucking UK. Are you serious? Alright, I cannot deal with this war right now. I just want to save the game here, because I'm going to have to go in... Yeah, five minutes. We're probably going to lose that province. Or oh, who knows, maybe the save just magically disappears and we can go back to an autosave. Who knows? Like, hmm? We'll see, we'll see. Ugh. Again, I'm sorry about not streaming much this week, but hoping to pick things back up next week. The whole novelty about reopening should have died down then. And we can play some video games. <laughs> yeah, you might be right there, Pampo. We'll see though, we'll see. I'll probably load it up one night and see if it's even winnable. All right. Uh, let's raid Bo, actually. 
he's been raiding me, so I guess it's about time we raid him back. He's stuck doing his uh, little sponsor thing anyway, so. Uh, there we go. Raid channel. Bocone one. All right, everyone. I'm sorry for having to dip out early. I hope you enjoyed the short stream and wasting your time with me. And might do Saturday. Depends you on when Thank you. I get home. Love you too, guys. See you soon. Also, call Bo bad at the game. And call him an exploiter. 